subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Invest 92L has been designated tr potential tropical cyclone 9 by the National Hurricane Center. As of 2 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, it has winds of 40 miles an hour and a minimum pressure of 1,007 millibars, with reconnaissance aircraft currently investigating the system to get more information. The storm is currently located at 14.1 degrees north, 54.8 degrees west of stage 2 in the CDPS scale for the northern Lesser Antilles. Uh, significant damage possible, particularly with mudslides and heavy rainfall that can cause flash flooding associated with the disturbance at this point in time. It is currently 446 miles from Antigua, 454 miles from Barbuda. Those are some of the closest direct impact zones right now. St. Martin is 430 miles away. St. Thomas is 636 miles away. And San Juan of Puerto Rico, once we get to the Greater Antilles, is 702 miles away right now. They're looking at the potential impacts of it further down the line. There's a plethora of warnings in effect that you can see right now, uh, all the way from Puerto Rico for tropical storm warnings, all the way to Antigua and Barbuda, and much of the northern lesser Antilles right now have tropical storm warnings in place. You can pause and read these if you need to, but there's also tropical storm watch in parts of northern Dominican Republic as well. Here's the GFS model showing precipitation and cloud cover, the area of influence of the storm. This is a 12Z run. You can see it blowing through most of the northern Lesser Antilles, potentially impacting the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico uh, in a few days as well. What's much more uncertain is its potential intensity as we head towards the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and potentially the United States down the line. Some models like the HLBRF keep it much stronger, just like they did with Gonzalo, but a lot of the global models actually have this weakening as it approaches both the Bahamas and Florida. Uh, last night's Tropical Weather Bulletin highlighted this, showing it potentially weakening to a tropical depression by day 5. The latest National Hurricane Center forecast has is a moderate tropical storm at that point right now. Sea surface temperatures won't be the issue though. 28 degrees where the storm is right now, about 29 degrees where it's heading north of the Lesser and Greater Antilles. Wind shear, dry air, and land interaction will be the main limiters for the storm. Here's the GFS wind model. You can see tropical storm force winds developing north of the center of the system pretty quick, potentially impacting parts of the Lesser Antilles and even Greater Antilles uh, within the next two to three days now before it's blowing through into the Bahamas. This GFS run weakens it into a tropical depression as it moves into the Bahamas and tries to go through Florida uh, at the later part of the forecast period. The track is still really uncertain though as there isn't a close center yet. So it's harder to really differentiate between where exactly the storm will go. Uh, anyone in the Lesser Antilles, Greater Antilles, and Southeast United States should be monitoring the development of the system, though. Tropical Storm Force wind odds look like this above 60% for most of the Lesser Antilles uh, east of Puerto Rico right now, at least the northern ones. Antigua and Barbuda in particular, both over 70% right now. And even Puerto Rico at San Juan, the capital, 45% odds right now. This is why, this is the energy forecast cone, you can see the storm blowing through the northern Lesser Antilles within the next 24 to 36 hours, likely impacting Puerto Rico before hour 36 as well, through the Dominican Republic by day 3, and then what's much more uncertain again is what it's going to do as we get to the later part of the forecast period. We really need to see the closed center form to make this track a lot easier to forecast. It's still quite difficult though, along with the unclear intensity forecast. Regardless, again, people in the Lesser Antilles, Greater Antilles, and southeastern United States need to be monitoring the development of the system. You can see it here on satellite imagery, no closed center of circulation yet, but a very broad area of convection blowing up thunderstorm activity and significant wind speeds of at least 40 miles an hour sustained now. Uh, Lesser Antilles are definitely going to have to watch out for this. Force 13 will be live doing a live tropical weather bulletin tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, which is also 8 p.m. Atlantic Time. Stay tuned for that and subscribe for more. You can follow us on our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already, make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook, it's Force13 to find our latest posts there, and we're also on Twitter, it's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message fool13 at extension 9094.